guys, welcome back. In today's video, we will attempt to save this orchid. This is my Phalaenopsis uh, Cassandra, and uh, it is very, very dehydrated. When I have received her, uh, she had a lot, a lot of blooms. She had over 60 blooms, but um, now she looks kind of poor. And um, I have applied some cakey paste uh, on a few places, and uh, I wasn't really expecting all those places to hatch and uh, now I have a lot of uh, little cakes. She also is uh, continually pushing up more and more branches and uh, yeah, uh, I really need to see what is happening with her. She is very very dehydrated. The leaves are very floppy and uh, they don't look good and uh, also the new leaf is uh, a lot smaller she she's in a very bad condition and um she's pushing up some uh, new roots but um if we take a closer look on this side we can see a lot of mineral build up on the roots and um i don't really remember what i did with uh, this one when i have reported her but uh, i may have uh, used too much slow release fertilizer if you use too much slow slow release fertilizer you will see this white uh, powder on top so we will report her and uh, see what is happening in the middle and after that we will decide if we need to cut the spike or not we will see Okay, so it seems that I have used uh, quite a lot of uh, ceramics in this orchid pot and uh, I am not very happy now with this mixture, but for us, it really should work. Yep, we have a lot of root rot, a lot of them. These are all the roots that didn't adapt to semi-hydro and um, we will cut them and um, yeah, work after that. I will use a sterilized scissors for this orchid. And um, yeah, when the roots are uh, dead, they are very, very mushy. And if you pull away, a string will remain behind. So it seems that that mineral buildup is actually because the roots are dead. I hope I am in focus. have some mineral buildup on these dead ones but I need a smaller uh, scissor oopsie sorry so I still have some mineral buildup and I need some smaller scissors to completely cut off these uh, dead stumps here they are quite stiff um, but uh, for now what I will do it is to soak this orchid in uh, some Faison solution for about one hour and this is because she had so many roots that were rotted and I'm fearing that she actually has a bacterial infection of some sort. I will um, submerge this orchid as I said in some Faison solution. I will use a very weak solution. Faison 20 is a um, bactericide also and um, this will help the orchid when she is in this state so uh, I will use in um, a 
US gallon about five milliliters of Faisan. I uh, I will actually dilute it in a, a smaller quantity of water. So I will use one point three milliliters for one point um, five let's say liters of water because I don't need that much solution and um, yeah. Okay, so uh, here I have about one point three milliliters of Faisan. I will pour it here and I will mix it very, very well. And now the orchid will soak in this solution for about one hour. I think I can safely take the steak now. I will also try to submerge the stem of the plant in this solution because I am very interested on these um, general soils that were on the dried roots to completely dissolve because if a, a new root uh, is starting to grow and the tip is very sensitive uh, and is touching up that uh, surface it may dry up and we really don't want to have that situation. So alright, uh, I will come back in one hour. So okay guys, I have actually decided to cut off the spike because um, I uh, think the orchid is already very very dehydrated. I don't want her to try to push up any new branches or uh, other stuff like that. So, oopsie. <laughs> So here is the orchid. Uh, the roots uh, are not in very good condition, but at least we have a few. And uh, I'm very happy that I, at least I have this new root and um, this new one is trying to poke up here. So um, I think uh, she will be good, but it's very, very dehydrated. We can see that. So what uh, I will use for this orchid is uh, leca beads. You can see they are uh, perfectly round. This is the type of leca you want to use in semi-hydro and I will use a 5 milliliters cup where I have drilled two side holes. I have about 4 centimeters in height for the reservoir of the pot which will work very very well. So I will place a small layer of leca and now I will position my orchid. I think this will be a good height and I will fill up the pot. With phalaenopsis you always need to make sure that the stem of the orchid is on top of the medium because uh, otherwise you risk um, stem rot. So I adjust the height as I go along. Now because she is very very dehydrated she will receive some special care. Uh, meaning that uh, in the night time she will be sprayed with a uh, bio fertilizer. I will put you links in the description of this video and uh, in the comment section with, with the products that I mentioned. So I will uh, spray the underside of the leaves uh, which uh, are very very leathery with uh, that solution of about uh, 50 to 70 ppm. Uh, for phalaenopsis the stomata opens up in the night time and that is the time when you want to foliar feed because she is very very dehydrated she will appreciate a lot all that moisture that I will provide in the night time and also I will actually place the orchid on a heat mat it is very very important when you try to transplant an orchid that is in uh, this poor condition to place it on a heat mat because uh, that will heat up the root zone will uh, accelerate the evaporation rate and um, that will uh, ensure that the roots grow faster and uh, bigger so uh, that we are providing for the orchid all the conditions that she recovers that she recovers nicely and I will make sure I will do a lot of updates for you 
uh, we can still see the old roots here so uh, those more most probably will die they are already sickish but uh, i am happy that i managed to soak the orchid in 520 because that should uh, stop the root rot i will go now and water the orchid at the sink and i also wanted to show to you this so you could see that uh, i have some little uh, cakes developing on those uh, spikes and branches and um, sometimes some people had success growing them only uh, from a cut spike and um, i have obtained uh, this cake is by applying cakey paste and uh, in this bottle i placed a solution made with fison and it's quite a strong solution it, i have used 10 milliliters of fison for uh, one gallon one us gallon of water and um, this will uh, ensure that uh, at least in theory should uh, prevent the stems from um, rotting and uh, the cakes can develop i have quite a few friends here on facebook that uh, managed to grow up a pretty good size cake with roots and after that they uh, removed it and all, all they uh, did was uh, kept them in uh, pure water or water with uh, five and twenty so i will keep you updated on um, the development of these ones too i am very curious too this is the first time i am trying this um yeah it is not uh, really necessary you have a cakey already present but uh, i think that makes uh, much um, more chances for the cakey to want to develop so right guys i think the workers is are already here so i will cut off this video thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below see you all next time bye